So the Ionic 6 is here. What a design this is. I'm really liking what I'm seeing here from the front side and the rear. And that's what we're going to compare in this video to the original concept of the Ionic 6, the Hyundai Prophecy, because I think something was lost there. We're also going to do a redesign on the, on the Ionic 6. And I'm going to show you just how important a couple of inches tweaking the proportions of this, how that's going to impact the overall impressions that you get of the Ionic 6. So it's gonna be really interesting to see that and show, you, show it to you how it's going to transform in the redesign. But first of all, let's have a look at this design. I made, a re I made a video on this car on my second channel yesterday or a couple of days ago, just quickly talking about what I think about the design, but I didn't compare the front side and the rear. I think it only stuck to the side there. So here we have the Prophecy up top and we have the Ionic 6 down here at the bottom. You can see that the, the Prophecy looks a lot more planted and a lot more sporty. It looks almost like an exotic car. For example, just have a look at the height of the of the uh, hood right here, if you can call it a hood. There's no engine underneath, as you know. But we also have a lot simpler graphics. For example, this intake right here is just a square. And I think maybe looking at the Ionic 6 down there, maybe it got a little bit too complex for my taste. I think I'm going to do something about that in the redesign. Still keep in line with what the designers had in mind. Maybe work a little bit with this triangle right here. I feel that's kind kind of out of place graphically when you look at that and connect it to the different uh, graphics that you have in the front end. But the major changes that I'm going to do in the redesign is going to work on these proportions of the Ionic 6. Now looking at the graphics of the Prophecy, I absolutely love these headlights. And if you look at the sketches, you can see that they have this, it doesn't really show up here, but they have this gorgeous chamfer that kind of houses the headlight as well. And I think this is a chamfer or a detail that I would love to have seen in the Ionic 6 production version. I think it looks really good and it just adds a little bit more interesting features in the front end of the Ionic 6 if we were to have this chamfer here. So let's have a look at the side view right here. And here you can definitely see just the different proportions of these two cars. And I think obviously these massive wheels, they make a big difference as well when it comes to the plantedness of this design. They do look pretty decent here. Maybe these are 19s or something like that, maybe 20s even. And they look like they fill out the wheelhouses, but we still have different proportions from the Prophecy. And I totally understand that when you take a design like this and you need to put this into production, a lot of things has to change. However, I wish that wasn't the case because I think the Prophecy, and when I first saw it, it was one of the, the, the most exciting uh, concept cars that I've seen in a very long time. I think it's such a unique design. This sloping shoulder line going back in a 240Z line that you have specifically looking at it at the side view and the taillight sitting so low and not just the proportions were, were new uh, with, the, with the Prophecy, even the graphics, these pixelated taillights, this is something that I'm sure wasn't gonna uh, you know, end up in the production version. We have almost a bit of a version of it. We're gonna have a look at that in the side view. But these proportions are just stunning to me. It's a new take on the bean design of EVs that looks a lot better than 95% of all the EVs out there. Unfortunately, we lost some of these proportions in the Ionic 6. However, this is still a very gorgeous and clean design. It still has a new take on what you, how you can design an EV and still be very efficient through the air. I think this is it still has kind of the same spirit of the Prophecy. Diff some different wheels on here would do make a big difference. Of course, that's going to impact the range, but we still have this uh, sloping roof line and the sloping shoulder line going back, not as uh, aggressive as in the Prophecy. And now we have these taillights that were the pixelated taillights in the Prophecy. They now moved up a bit and created this housing for the taillights. And you have th this kind of diffuser down here being the same graphic as we have basically in the Prophecy's taillight. But the big changes happened here, in my opinion, in this area. You see that we have a lot more body mass here, and this is probably for safety regulations or any other type of regulations that you need to implement when you're going from concept to production. Let's look, have a look at the rear view before we jump in to the redesign here. I really want to show you the rear because this is my favorite angle of the gorgeous Prophecy up here. You can see how 
steep it goes down this shoulder line into this nice housing of the rear end graphics and then you have this pixelated massive <laughs> daylights in the rear end it looks super simple but it still has so much identity to it and that is not an easy thing to do then you have this wing as well the spoiler that has a lot of LED LEDs in it in the prophecy and this is one feature that I'm really happy that they kept in the production version I think this looks really cool and it also adds another layer of identity and uniqueness to the Ionic 6 in my opinion and I actually think that the overall tail of the Ionic 6 is very well executed because look at this Look at this gorgeous uh, ducktail. So we have so much smooth lines all over the car. And then at the very end, they decided to have a sharp, tight looking end point to the rear end design. And I think this looks gorgeous with this ducktail. And I also like how they implemented the production version of these pixelated lights right here. And they also have this light bar that we have like ver two vertical light bars as you can see in the uh, concept. They also decided to implement that in a way by having them be pixelated with a different kind of framing obviously with a proper diffuser that is not made of pixels but here it's actually made of some solid material that houses these features that we had in the prophecy i also want to show you this interior because it's a very interesting interior for one reason and that is that you see that we have this big ipad stuck on the dash which is okay in this case the reason being i think this ipad is integrated in uh, probably the best way i've seen so far it might look a little bit sterile in some cases but i do like how they integrated this in the dash it actually looks now that it's not just a screen that they glued onto the dash this has a clear integration that is in the dash in the overall design of the rest of the interior and that's why i think this looks so far the best looking ipad dash that i've seen so far just because of this integration i also like that we have two massive screens right here on the sides for the side mirror so when you turn on the indicators you're going to have those light up or or show you what's uh, right next to you and i also like this disco light that we have a bunch of leds looks very futuristic and it's overall just a clean clear looking uh, interior that i really like and i think hyundai and kia specifically these two the last 15 years i don't know what happened to these brands they stepped it up so much both in the interior and the exterior and i have a kia ev6 gt to review for an entire week so make sure you subscribe to my second and third third channel for reviews and videos on the kia ev6 now let's jump into the redesign here and see what i want to do so it's not gonna be one of these redesigns where I completely transform everything about the car. I want to uh, respect the original thoughts from the designers of Hyundai to bring the concept into the production version. However, I want to have more of the the, the philosophy or, or the, the vibe and the, uh, the impressions that you get that I got when I saw the prophecy concept. And the graphics are here in the Ionic 6. I really like the graphics. I think they are uh, unique with this pixelated new design DNA for Hyundai. It's a really cool take on light design in general. But I do think we could work a little bit more on the proportions. Make it longer, wider, and stretch it out. Make it more planted. And I'm also going to take the gorgeous wheels from the Prophecy and apply them onto this uh, redesign that I'm making right here. This is obviously not something that um, Hyundai could make. I mean, they could make something like this, but if they were to do it, that means that it's going to have to grow on all dimensions, on all angles, both in width and in height, to make it something like I'm doing right here in the redesign. Because if we want to keep the same dimensions that we have right now of the Ionic 6 and apply these proportions, you're going to lose a lot of headroom, and you're also probably going to lose a bunch of other stuff that's needed for production. So I totally understand why this can't be made, but if I could redesign this, this is exactly what I would do. I would work mainly on the proportions, stretch it out, make the hood a little longer so we don't have that stubby EV nose make it longer and we can utilize that by implementing more luggage space in the front end for example and also work more on the front end graphics to have it be simplified 
because if you look at the side of this car it's a super simple clean design and I think the front end the bumper area in the front end looks too busy in relation to everything else that goes on on the car so we can still have probably all the functions that we need in the Ionic, Ionic 6 we can hide them in a better way and have a simplified front end and I think that also looks better than the uh, production version Ionic 6 but that's just my opinion the main changes here as I said are going to be focused on the proportions of the car and I, I would really wish it, it, this is one of these cars that I really wish Hyundai hadn't released the prophecy concept as a concept for the Ionic 6 because the Ionic 6 by itself it looks really cool and really unique futuristic it has some new design styles to it and it implements this new pixelated design from Hyundai but I'm always gonna have the prophecy at the back of my mind when I look at the Ionic 6 and think that there is just something missing in the proportions of the Ionic 6 even though it is a very cool and new futuristic car. That's it for the redesign. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.